policy of President Mohamed Buhari is in view of, the, of, of all those things that we decided on our own to look for an opportunity to plead with Mr. Ikemachiku Godwin Emefila to come out and run for the presidency of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, just like other developing nations. When I say developing nations, both in the Western world and in Africa, are busy clamoring for who will bring good things to their country. In the case of Africa, it's after this COVID and economic recession. This month we are about to project as effectively manage the economy of this country to the very best of patriotic citizens of this country. In view of that, you may wish to listen to some of the things we have to tell you. Today is an epoch-making day in the, in the momentous life of our dear party, the APC, as de delegates from all over the country gathered peacefully and orderly to elect true observance of the best democratic echoes, the new national leadership of our party, the APC. We, the Mifla support group, therefore, put before all Nigerians the captain of his class and call on President Mohamed Bouhadi as the father of the nation, of the modern Nigerian, to support a candidate who embodies a winnable personality, who ticks all the numerous boxes, and the candidate who will be proud of it. It is after a very rigorous research that we have come to the unequivocal and emphatic conclusion that only one man fit this bill and we may both to present to you, Mr. President, for his endorsement and to Nigeria for their massive support, Mr. Bukotwin, the Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria for President. The personality of the man, Emefele, the second is the track record of his performance. If we are looking at the personality of the man, Emefele, we are looking at a man that will continue consolidate and expand the visions and landmark legacies of President Muhammad Buhari. He's a core loyalist, not just verbally but in actions. He's a professional to the core. He's an experienced economist. We are looking at a person whose candidature will help answer the quest for Igbo presidency. We are looking at a person from the South-South that would also help and quench the South-South Draws our desire for their one more term. The CBN governor has been with the president and he understands where the president wants the country to be in the nearest future. He's a tested and competent technocrat. He's a person who is detribalized. He's broad minded. He's generally accepted and a believer in the unity and oneness of Nigeria. He's not a controversial person. And it's very accommodating of the country's diversities. Now, when we are talking about the track record performance of Mr. Mefele, we are looking at a man that has shown unprecedented sagacity as the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria. His initiatives for small, medium, and large-scale enterprises have been unprecedented. In manufacturing, oil and gas, agriculture, trade, commerce, the signature of the CBN governor has been very clear and precise. The numerous interventions of the bank under high standard supervision is second to none. Rice farmers in our country has never had it this good. Now, the initiative of the bank to encourage Nigerians into exportation to repatriate their foreign exchange earnings is better than the bookmakers have imagined. There are other several strategic policies that he has put in place to ensure foreign exchange liquidity in the country and are worthy of note and also being copied and implemented by, a foreign, by foreign countries. These are the initiatives of the CBN governor. Nigerians need not be reminded that on more than one occasion, this man has set the country out of economic recession at a time which defied the projections of the best foreign experts. It could have only taken one man, one man with such in-depth understanding of the issues and a deep analytical mind to achieve such feats. 
In tackling unemployment, the CBN has 37 intervention funds targeted at stimulating the economy and addressing the issues of unemployment. When Mr. Mefele came to office in June 2014, bank credits to private sector was about 16.3 billion naira. But that figure has today grown by almost 100% to over 32.4 billion naira. He has increased the increase driven by the loan to deposit ratio policy introduced by Mr. Mefele. Specifically under the Anchor Boras program, the APS Bank has granted over 756 billion to more than 3 million farmers, cultivating above 4.6 million hectares of land. The initiatives of the bank include the agribusiness small and medium enterprise investment schemes, with over 121 billion disbursed to over 32,000 beneficiaries. Under the National Youth Investment Fund, 3 billion has been released to over 7,000 beneficiaries, while under the Creative Industry Financing Initiative, over 3 billion was released to over 350 beneficiaries in the movie production, software development, movie distribution, fashion, etc. Over 100 billion healthcare sector intervention facility to 100 healthcare projects in pharmaceuticals, hospital service where beneficiaries in the intervention in the max metering program while it, where it, it disbursed over 36 billion to 17 meter asset providers which will all begin to yield their fruit soonest now over 620,000 direct and indirect indirect jobs were created in two years as a result of the bank's intervention in cotton textile and garment sector in total the bank's development finance interventions in general have created over 7 million jobs. This is the highest by any central bank governor in our history, and indeed by any singular institution ever in the country. This indeed shows a man with in-depth understanding of the issues of our nation, as his ingenuities and initiatives are adequately targeted at job creation, poverty eradication, resilience economy, promoting productivity, and economic diversification. What more can we ask for? Though Mr. Mefele has not formally declared to run for the office, as he's still concentrating on his job at the APS Bank, we are, however, urging him to answer our clarion call. Finally, we call on all Nigerians, at home and in diaspora, to key into the choice of Mr. Godwin Mefele, and also call on all leaders of note in our country who have the president's ear to also lend their voices to the generational opportunity to massively grow our economy in leaps and bounds and also generally move Nigeria forward.